This method was developed by Karo Ishikawa, who pioneered quality management process in Kawasaki shipyards and became one of the founding fathers of modern management. The basic concept was first used in 1920 and became popular in 1960s. Dr. Edward Deeming also adopted this technique. Both Ishikawa and Deeming used this diagram as one of the first tools in quality management approach. This technique's philosophy is based on the effect is the problem you are dealing with. However, there is a hidden cause you need to find in order to eliminate and solve the problem permanently. This tool helps you identify the contributing factors to the problem. Therefore, you may conduct further investigation. It's commonly used for product design and quality defect prevention. This method is also called Ishikawa diagram or fishbone diagram because its shape looks like a side view of a fish skeleton. Fishbone diagram works with complex problems and gives a comprehensive vision of the whole process. In addition, it is considered as a good tool to visualize the situation to stakeholders. To apply fishbone diagram in organizations, you should start by assembling a team. Then identify the problem. Identify the possible casual factors. After that, write down the problem on the side of a paper or board. Identify the relevant category according to the type of business. Then brainstorm every cause to identify the sub-causes and then draw branches of every category to write down the sub-causes you identified. Break down each sub-cause into its elements. Then draw your lines of the sub-causes you determined in the previous step. Finally, Analyze your diagram by asking the following questions. How likely is this cause to be the major source of the issue or violation? How easy would it be to fix or control? You should get answers very likely, somewhat likely, or not likely. Put the answers of the two questions together. Work on the causes that have a result of VV, VS, and SV.